here, a company with strong ties to Western New York is still at the center of the investigation into what caused the Titan submersible to implode in the North Atlantic near the wreck of the Titanic, killing the five people on board. Most Buffalo's Ron Plants reached out to various experts in underwater exploration to get some idea of what they're doing now to help the U.S. Coast Guard and other international agencies. There's still a lot of questions here, Ron. Yeah, it, it's amazing what these people are doing. It's amazing to think a lot of them are from here. Uh, now, through their social media postings and website, we're learning that the crew of Pelagic Research Services of East Aurora, led by Edward Cassano, is still on duty in the North Atlantic as we speak, doing this incredible work with their equipment 12,000 feet below the surface near the wreck of the Titanic. Pelagic staffers are still unable to speak with us directly as the official parts of this investigation, including the Coast Guard, National Transportation Safety Board, that's their equipment there, Canadian officials and various other agencies around the world. But they've been sending that 5,500 pound remotely piloted submersible called the Odysseus 6K, we're getting to know that name, down to the seafloor in several dives since their initial dive on Thursday morning, which actually found the debris of the Titan submersible. They have operators you may have seen there in a control room aboard their ship, a mother ship called the Horizon Arctic. They're mapping the seafloor around the remnants of the Titan as a key part of the investigation. And we spoke with an expert in underwater exploration from California who gave us his perspective on what Pelagic is doing at this point with that tethered Odysseus on the completely dark ocean floor. It'll follow a lot of the procedures that the NTSB will would normally use to to uh, investigate an an accident. I mean, the uh, for sure they're probably uh, most likely just recording lots and lots and lots of photos, videos, and where things are positioned from different angles, because where the parts are uh, will provide some information of what happened, uh, what the parts look like. I think the picking up of the parts is pretty well the towards the end of that, just because the the the, the scene the way it is and they found it is most important. It has uh, powerful arms on this device, and this effort could take some time as they're positioned out in the North Atlantic, about 400 miles south of St. John's, Newfoundland. As you may recall, those are the pictures right there with those big Air Force planes. Uh, the Odysseus and the crew of Pelagic picked up and then flown from Buffalo's airport last Tuesday within 24 hours to that search site area out from Newfoundland. And we're gonna have more at five o'clock on what kind of rescue effort that Will Honan, that expert we talked to there, feels the Pelagic crew might have been capable of if the Titan had not imploded and if it had settled on the sea floor requiring a rescue. Uh, tragically, again, Kate, with the circumstances, there was no chance for a rescue with it imploding. Mm -hmm. But he says, they probably could have tried to pull that up. It's really incredible to see the size of that thing and how sophisticated it is yeah. and what it's able to do. And it was sitting in East Aurora. Yeah, they're here the whole time. There More to go. come. Ron, thank you.